Hey there, Aries. Welcome to part two for the week of April 4th. This is part one right here. If you haven't watched part one yet, it is linked up in the description down below. But let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, with this Wolverine card, you have this Meerkat card. It says responsibility. Uh, I do feel that you just have a lot of responsibilities at this time. Uh, I kind of feel, um, wouldn't really surprise me if seven of, like Seven of Pentacles came up in this reading because um, I feel like the universe is trying to make you focus. Really, I feel like the universe is trying to get everyone to focus because uh, I think we all have a lot of responsibilities <laughs> at this time. I feel like the universe is like saying, okay, yes, you have all these responsibilities, but like what is most important to you? Like what kind of life do you want to create? I really feel the universe is giving us like a little bit of a blank canvas to work with. Um, but again, I feel like we have to we could be thinking or feeling that certain things are more responsible or, you know, are more a responsibility than they actually are. I feel like we have to make sure we're not doing like busy work, if that makes sense. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Four Swords. Mm, yeah, I feel like you've been hoping for answers with that Wheel of Fortune. I really see that Wheel of Fortune in my head as a situation for you. Um, either like a goal, wish, or dream, something you've been trying to accomplish with that Wheel of Fortune. Um, it's like the getting there that has been the challenge for a very long period of time. For some of you, I literally feel like you see a situation like you you are saying to yourself, if I had this, it would change my life, like that type of situation. Could be financial, could be a relationship, could be a business, could be anything, whatever it is for you. The Four of Swords really tells me that you've been kind of like dreaming of something, you know, he, there is a person receiving blessings in this window up here, in that stained glass window, and he's also praying for those blessings. So I feel like you've been kind of like praying, hoping and praying for blessings. Um, with the Two of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups, and it's like your emotions overflowing, being really happy. Again, I feel that Wheel of Fortune would be, is, is like a situation that would make you very happy. It could be involving love, doesn't have to be with the Wheel of Fortune, but uh, you know, it could be something that d does involve love with the Two of Wands, you know, with this uh, Ace of Cups here. Uh, I also feel that uh, Two Aces, <laughs> so Two Aces is a definite yes to any question I haven't answered, let's see. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, you have the Devil, uh, there you go. Uh, the devil can be something that you are stuck and bound to. I kind of feel like that's something that you are leaving. It could be a relationship, like I said, but again, doesn't have to be. The devil can be anything that you feel is stealing your energy. So it could be a business, it could be a job, it could be uh, just a regular old friendship or something like that. Um, but like I said, with the Ace of Wands, I felt with that Ace of Wands that you see something falling apart. It's like you, you, the writing is on the wall is what I feel like saying. It's like you know that there needs to be a new beginning in your life. So I feel in a lot of ways that you already you know, know that you have to remove yourself from something. Uh, with that Turkey Spirit, you have this uh, Lion Spirit. It says, be generous a spirit. Uh, both cards, you know, that card says give with gratitude and grace. So both cards are about kind of being generous, um, really being nice and being good, <laughs> giving with gratitude and like all that other stuff. So uh, kind of like noticing a theme here with the animal cards. With the Nine of Wands, you have the King of Swords. Mm, I am getting, I have the word retribution popping into my head right now here, Aquarius. This, and by the way, I don't know if you can see that, 1010 right there. So I have the word retribution popping into my head. I feel like some of you, that Nine of Wands, it's almost like you're trying to protect yourself from the King of Swords. It's like you could be trying to protect yourself from like law and order. Um, you know, you could be trying to protect yourself in like a divorce situation here with the Nine of Wands. I have a bunch of things popping into my head. Uh, I'm not sure if this is real or not. <laughs> so we're gonna, you know, and, and I'm not saying that your situations are not real, but again, I wanna, I want to look into this and say, like, are, it, are these valid concerns? They, they might be, right? So your concerns about something might be valid and, and we just need to look into it. With the Six of Cups, you have the Queen of Swords. There you go. See, I'm noticing two situations here. Again, I don't really do love readings, but I, I, like, I can't help it if the reading is pushing me towards love, right? I just read whatever comes up. For some of you, I feel like you're dealing with two situations here. You're dealing with um, two people. I feel like one situation you definitely want to leave. Some of you maybe have already left it. Uh, could be with another air sign, uh, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Um, and uh, I feel like you are wanting to move towards a new situation. But it's like there's two, it's like almost like a, like I feel like I'm reading for Will Smith right now. Is this like a, an entanglement or something that is going on here? That's how I'm seeing it in my head, two situations. Something needs to come to an end. Uh, for others, this is clearly like a job or business 
And what I would say here is that you are wanting to move towards something new in work or business, but I feel the hesitation here is like knowing the right answers, getting started. I don't really have a good example for you here, but if you're hesitating in work or business, it kind of reminds me of YouTube. It's like, you know, it's like I have another channel and I still haven't gotten going <laughs> because it's like I'm always thinking, like, is this the right thing to create? And I feel that for some of you in work or business where it's like, maybe you want a change in work or business, but it's like the actually, the, the knowing the answer is the challenge here. I have a feeling we're gonna pull an extra row. Uh, with the King of uh, Cups here, you have the King of Wands. Yeah, I mean, whenever I have a reading like this where there's, you know, like a situation, there's a divine counterparts, but King and Queen of Swords, not so great. And then you have two Kings here. And again, don't I don't attach gender to my cards. It doesn't matter what gender this is, but I feel like some of you could be trying to, it's like you're dealing with two people here as far as love is concerned. I would just move towards the like better situation here <laughs> is what I would say. Like I feel like one situation is clearly like divinely guided wheel of fortune, you know, all this other stuff. I feel like the other one is just an entanglement, you know, if the, if the you know, whatever you wanna call it, Aquarius, I don't care, right? But um, you know, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, for others, again, I feel like all this king energy is kind of tied to that fierce, that, that first card you had, that Wolverine spirit, it said fierceness, king of wands, be bold, be if, be fearless, be aggressive, go for something that you want. Uh, with the purse in the eye here, you have the hand, it says in need of help, assistance, and guidance. And you have the forest, uh, it says muddled, unclear thinking. I'm smiling because again, I feel like that's exactly the problem is this right here, uh, right here, <laughs> the, the forest. For some of you, I feel like there are people, you know, King of Swords, you know, on the positive side of things can represent a mentor, um, you know, someone who wants to help you, someone who can help guide you through life, someone who can provide you with answers. So, if, and it could be any gender, like I said. So any, you know, any, if you have someone you look up to, you know, maybe if you're looking for answers, if you're, if your thinking is not clear with the forest, you know, I feel like that could help. The other thing I would say is that, again, if you are having that unclear thought, you know, not being sure what to do next, like I gave you the example of my other YouTube channel. It's like, I don't know what to do next, right? Um, you know, I feel like getting help from other people would be a good idea. Um, I also feel that getting clear on what you want, again, I'm, I'm almost a thousand percent sure I've said this to you in the past. I really feel if you're an Aquarius, which if you're watching this, you are, and I'm an Aquarius rising, so I'm probably, I, I probably need to do the same thing, right? I would work backwards. I would say like, okay, it, this is not like a 10 year goal thing. This is uh, just what, if, if you had like the perfect life in five or 10 years, what would it look like, right? And I, I would say, go nuts, go crazy, make it absolutely ridiculous, right? Absolutely. You know, say it could be, maybe you wanna have $10 billion in the bank and all all this other stuff, make it as crazy as possible. And then I'd, I'd go back to whatever your unclear situation is here, I would go back to your unclear situation and I would say, like, if you're dealing with two people, which one of those people fits the $10 billion? Which one fits the, you know, the end goal, right? Uh, if this is a job or a business situation, wh whatever you write out about where you wanna be in five, 10 years, it's like, what fits that situation best? It's like, are you gonna accomplish these crazy goals? M maybe not, but again, I feel like the, the whole point of the exercise is like, what fits? <laughs> and I kind of feel like you need to do that, like work backwards, if that makes sense. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have the Eight of Cups. Basically, the universe saying, I meant what I said. There's no emotional connection in a situation in your life here, Aquarius. I feel like you're very connected to one thing, but not another. I feel like one thing makes you excited, uh, something else doesn't. And again, it doesn't matter if this is love or whatever, a business, a job, a health routine, it could be anything. I feel like you know you that you are kind of being pulled away from something. We have an eclipse coming up at the end of April as well. And so, <laughs> you know, wouldn't surprise me if something uh, gets eclipsed out of your life at the end of the month. With the uh, Page of Swords, you have the High Priestess. Like I said in your first reading, I would definitely trust your intuition at this time. I feel like you are being intuitively guided, but I really feel that you need to listen to your own feelings. It's almost like you could be, some of you could be confusing yourself. Again, I'm the master of you know overthinking and confusing myself, so I totally get it. Like I said, Aquarius rising, I'm born super close to Aquarius as well. Um, so. I totally get it, but what I would say here is that I feel like you actually know the answer here. Part of me sometimes feels with the high priestess that she is thinking black and white, right? She could be thinking black and white, these two pillars here. Um, that's not really what they represent, although actually they do. They kind of represent uh, seeing both sides of an issue or seeing both sides of a situation. But she has that tapestry behind her Part of me feels sometimes with the high priestess, the solution is to step into the mystery. It's like, uh, you know, if you have 
two businesses or if you have a job and a business you want to start but it's like you've never started the business it's like sometimes i think the solution with her is to just start the business and see what happens it's like you um i get this feeling of preventing myself from you know peeking behind the curtain but it's like if you never have the full experience then you're never going to have the experience you're never going to know um for some of you i just get this feeling of protecting yourself from something where you're never going to know unless you experience it uh i hope that makes sense <laughs> Uh, that sounds weird in my head, but, um, you know, again, it could be a relationship. It's like you could be pre uh, preventing yourself from getting in a relationship because it's like you're protecting yourself from uh, potentially being hurt, but it's like you're never going to know how it's going to go in the first place if you don't experience it. So, you know, I kind of get that feeling here. I hope that makes sense. Uh, with the star, you have the two of cups, uh, perfect match, soulmates, um, you know, uh, pretty much everything. So, really good you could also have better you know if you're dealing with two people you could have better communication with one over the other and i would you know i mean to me that's obvious but you know m maybe it's not to you but i would pay attention to that uh, this could also represent communication between you and your higher self so i would uh, listen to your dreams your daydreams uh, any intuitive messages you're getting i would listen to that uh can we get like a final outcome i have a feeling the answer is going to be no but let's see uh, you have the Queen of Cups. Trust your heart, right? Um, you have the Ace of Cups in the reading. She is she really values her emotions. That cup, it almost looks like a trophy. And I always say that she really values how she feels. She doesn't care about how anyone else feels. And I don't I don't mean that as in she's a jerk. <laughs> I mean that as in she truly values her feelings. She truly values uh, how she feels about you know all situations in her life. Uh, middle row, you have the King of Pentacles. It's a card of stability. Um, you know, I feel like it's a card of stability. I feel it's a card of kind of financial stability as well. I do feel there's a change in your finances. I also feel, if I can't say that enough today, that uh, a change in your finances is going to make a decision much easier. So again, if you're like waiting for money or whatever to get started on a business or job or to get into a relationship, you know, to me that's just popping into my head as a change. And uh, you have the temperance card. Temperance is about just needing to go through it. <laughs> temperance is about, you know, kind of needing to put in the work. It's a card of alchemy. The temperance card, I feel, sometimes reminds us that we do create our own reality, but we actually have to put the work in. He's pouring water back and forth between those two cups. He's trying to turn water into wine. You know, again, it's a card of alchemy, turning one thing into another. And that's what he's trying to do. But it's like, he has to do it. He actually has to put the work in to make it happen. And so I feel, like I said in the first reading, if you're hoping for a change, wheel of fortune, you're hoping a change in your destiny or in your life, you have to put the work in to do it. But mm, this is pretty good stuff. I like where this is going. So thank you for being here, Aquarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.